Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another vlog, day 7 of the UK trip 2019. We've hit the big milestone, one week in, and it's like day one, we've still got the energy, still got the stamina, we're absolutely loving it. In Liverpool today, we travelled up on the train from Manchester, we were staying with our friends and, uh, in Manchester this morning, we got the train into Liverpool, and uh, today, tonight, we're going to be getting the mega bus, I think about half past ten from Liverpool, going all the way to London. Massive, I think it's like a six hour journey, we're going to be getting there about 5.40, uh, it's more like seven isn't it? So yeah, the night mega bus, I'll let you know how that goes, not sure if I'll be allowed to vlog on that. Even if I do, it probably won't be very light, so you're not going to be able to see anything anyway. Anyway, back to the present day. Right now, I am outside the home of the reigning Champions League champions, Liverpool FC, outside, I don't know if you can see that, oh, it's over here, the cop, the cop end, famous end, absolutely historic, gets pretty nutty on those Champions League nights, ask any Liverpool fan, they'll tell you that for free. Yeah, it's, it's a fair walk outside of Liverpool, but you know, we went a lot along the dock, along the river, thought it was alright, what do you think, you? Yeah, it's nice, nice little walk, and it's worth it to see this iconic stadium, isn't it, really? It certainly is, absolutely worth it. We do it ten times over. So, very historic, you know, not just in terms of Liverpool's history, but uh, English football history as a whole. Obviously, you know, the amount of scenes that have happened in here, countless. Even if I had ten hands, I would be able to count them on them. So, yeah, brilliant stuff. Outside Anfield, absolutely awe-inspiring. Blimmin' massive stadium. In a second, we're going to be travelling over to the other side of Stanley Park, obviously you can see Andy Robertson in the background, Joe Gomez. Um, we're going to be going over to the other side of Stanley Park to see Goodison Park, which I'm quite excited about because it's supposed to be really historic, you know, sort of a bit of like antique, it looks, looks really old. They haven't really done it up much, so that'll be cool to see, you know, they haven't really changed, so that'll be cool. Um, whereas Anfield, obviously, has been done up quite a bit, you can see there's a lot of glass going on here clearly pretty modern um, so yeah going over to Goodison I'll show you a little a little glimpse of that I should think but until then I shall see you hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to another vlog UK trip 2019 with Ewan how's it going mate All right, mate. still day seven you're probably rejoining me in the same video that uh, Anfield was in we love that we just had a little look around that now we've just hopped across Stanley Park it's about a mile so nothing really we found ourselves at the home of Everton, Goodison Park. It's a little bit more difficult to get into, there's like mostly gated, but uh, we managed to find a way. Once I'm gonna let you know. Was left open. So uh, yeah, we managed to get in. Um, looking around, looks like a quality stadium. I'll let you see it behind me. Can't really see too much of it because it's sort of in the middle of a road area, so it's stuck in the middle, so going around you sort of have to look up and you can't really get a full view of the the depth the really the real dimensions of it it's a bit annoying but you know in this car park area here we can see the front pretty well looks like a quality stadium definitely worth you know it looks nothing like the mem or you know other stadiums that you get around league one or the championship definitely deserves its premier league status as my hair's getting a bit funky uh that'll be the wind um so yeah today i'll give you a little recap of today yeah, we had a little bit of a lie-in, actually, this morning. Uh, we were quite late getting up, but I think we needed to recharge our batteries. We've got you know, the last sort of home straight yet to go. So, obviously, we've got Liverpool, and then we'll be going to London before heading back home. And we thought we'd better just recharge the batteries so we can really go at it for the last bit. So, yeah, we were a bit late to getting up. Got the train in from Wilmslow to Liverpool. No problems there. It was a beautiful, smooth journey. And, uh, yeah, oh, that's lads go behind me. Um, I won't say it too loudly because they're still around. Um, but yeah, uh, went to Liverpool, just sort of had a look around the centre about, you know, just outside the train station because the train station is really central. So just had a little look around the shops. Uh, beautiful area, a bit more modern than Manchester, I think. I'm not sure, maybe the building's a bit newer. Um, really nice area, very clean. Great, uh, nice warm feel. You can really see the influence of the football club in the city. There's so many shops and little, uh, like, Oh, I forgot what they're called. 
but you know little places that uh, yeah stands that sell scarves and things like this loads of people walking around with Liverpool shirts on not many Everton but uh, I suppose they've not had the best of seasons so fair enough um, and Liverpool obviously just won the Champions League and so it's all over the city you can really see the influence that it has over the area as a whole so yeah I had a walk around there went along the docks I think I've already told you this very nice area there um, King Albert docks I think it was cool that was really nice so yeah walked along there about a 40 minute walk up to Anfield Stanley Park through there into Goodison now so yeah ideal we'll be probably getting the bus back because it was quite a nice walk or quite a long walk whilst it was nice it's pretty long so we don't really want to be seeing the same stuff again may as well just get the bus a bit more direct so yeah we'll be doing that getting back there probably having a little sit down a bit, a bit of a rest heading off again tonight the big mega bus big journey and that one down to london tonight overnight that'll be an experience this will probably be the last time you see me for today next time you see me i'll be in london probably quite early in the morning but until then i'll see you